Westfest! Too much metal for one hand! Uh... all come about? It, it was, oh, it's a long story, so I hope you've got plenty of time. It, it was really about um, giving an opportunity to, to young and, and upcoming bands in the area. We wanted to hold it in Les Mahego, hence the name Les Fest. Uh, we couldn't find a venue suitable in Les Mahego, so we moved it here to, to Cross Ford, the Valley International Park. Uh, that gave us an opportunity to make it a bit bigger than we anticipated, and, and, and now this is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's quite it's quite unique. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of like you know either independent or um, you know unsigned bands. Um, and you want to keep that like kind of that kind of mentality going. I mean, I think the only, only actual like big band that I remember, in it, and it's uh, obviously uh, Praying Mantis. From, Praying Mantis from the, yeah. from the eighties. So how, how how did they actually come on board? I I'd met them actually at another gig, uh, as it happens, and um, I just sounded them out after we had booked so many bands to play this, and I thought I'll try and add one or two bands that have a bit of a name or, or a reputation uh, to give the, the event a bit of credence. But, but I don't want to lose the ethos about having young, unsigned, upcoming bands. And next year, and we are planning next year already, that will still be the, the kind of key element to the whole festival. So, Les Fest, what's your thoughts? It's amazing, isn't it? It's quite handy the fact that it's only like 10 minutes down the road for you and 10 minutes down the road for me. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. it's quite a cool place. Yeah. Any festival where, you know, I actually don't have to travel a long distance is all good in my oh, book, you know. Definitely, yeah, definitely. You can get you go home, sleep in my own bed. It's brilliant. It. I'm going to drive down tomorrow morning, get a shower, get changed, get some breakfast, rolls and square sausage. Of course. And then back up yeah. and enjoy Fantasist and 15 Times Dead and Curb Grinder. Yeah. So, yeah. oh, uh, Praying Mantis as well? Oh, Praying Mantis, of course, that goes without saying. of less face so far we just got here about 10 minutes ago but so far so good man I it's, yeah. it's looking good I can't believe people are actually camping it's awesome <laughs> <laughs> it sounds, <laughs> sounds fucking amazing as well man yeah. so should be good it's always good when there's are actually like a decent fucking sound to show like what the bands actually sound like so should be perfect yeah no it seems like uh, I don't know if he's have had much contact with Dave but it just it seems like he's doing this for the right reasons you know he's wanting yeah, yeah. he's wanting to give bands you know exposure and yeah. it's, it's, there's not a lot of you know people putting together things promoting things that you know are like that we met big dave down at hammerfest and ever since then he's been uh, always trying to get his own different gigs and try you know and it's really good we're, we're probably the first band they contacted about this so <laughs> we feel quite privileged in way, yeah. but so, you know what you're saying like he's done incredibly well putting this together and he is he's doing it for completely the right reasons because there's not a name on there you really recognise and he is trying to get all the bands especially these days when it's so hard and a sea of other bands to get yourself recognised to have a festival like this um, of this scale I'm very impressed it's kind of so all, all about the underground which is quite cool like Aye. I mean bands like us especially like, Aye, all respect I mean? to Big Dave Aye, exactly. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> definitely um, so you guys got anything coming up um, any releases or tours I've got a Nazi Osborne CD a tribute CD due next month uh, we've done a track Supernaut um, from Black Sabbath volume 4 so it's due July the 10th it was meant to be June the 4th but I got pushed back a bit uh, Matt Rager on that as well so uh, that's, that should be good. Apart from that, we've got a few shows um, coming up, just always throughout the year. We've got some shows in Belgium next year. Um, 
Aye, just just different things coming up. Taking what we can get. Aye. Aye, exactly. Vinny promoters out there, give us a shout eh? <laughs> <laughs>
here with Fantasist, uh, probably probably the best dressed uh, rock band I've ever seen. We get that a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We love it. Okay, Just what? to impress, I always say. Hi. Yeah, so I've never really said that before, I'm saying it the first time now. Yeah. I lied. <laughs> so uh, why, why, why start like this? Why, why my start, my brilliant idea. idea. Your brilliant idea. Brilliant idea to get really to hot on stage. Out. But yeah, you know, you see most bands and they just wearing whatever they wear normally, you, you don't remember they are. So I think it's one way of standing out. And we look cool as fuck. I, I, I look sharp. Sharp. And I love it, you know. Yeah. yeah. Fat sharp. I feel like I look like a business hippie. <laughs> yeah. So, um... <laughs> Shit. So yeah, what do you think of Lesfest? Awesome. Yeah, it's that's really, really good. Yeah, I, I, I'd love to come <laughs> back next year if we're going to do it. Some right. senior, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yes, they should do another one of these. They should definitely do another one of these. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, thought, I think it's actually getting planned already. Is so, it? Yeah. Is it? Well, there we go then. Good. Yeah. That is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to speak to Dave about that one then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, what you, you guys got anything coming up? Uh, anything you want to promote? Well, yeah, uh, second uh, album. Second album. Second album. We're still working on it, but we want to try and release it hopefully before the year's out. Right, it's good. Um, it's slow progress, though. So. Yeah, we're recording it at home basically, and it's yeah. Take it all in ourselves. Take it all in our house. Oh, doing it ourselves. It's going to sound pretty good so far. Uh, but of course, we've got, also got the debut album to, to promote still. That's, still, that's still available. That. Uh, Giggle from Juice. Giggle Juice on iTunes and all the rest of the usual places. Yeah, there was the video which we did recently, which is on Kerrang and QTV. And uh, that we've got another one hopefully planned for next year as well, yeah. so that'll be off, off a new album. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, I think uh, I'll call it a date that since it's starting to yeah. piss down. Oh, um, it is Scotland. Damn your nature! <laughs> oh, Scotland. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Try, try living here all the time. <laughs> We're in Manchester, we don't need to. <laughs> it rains all the time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thanks, guys. Thank okay, you. Thanks. Oh, thanks, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. Michael! Michael! <laughs> what? You know Michael would like me? Shut up. Can Michael, we should, we should see in absence. No, I see ab... Say absence. Say what? Absent. Absent. <laughs> I don't know. What are you trying to make me stay? Can I hear you? No, don't stay. 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 Stay.